Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of my Australia build, which will be based on Perth. Um, since I'm just filling in roads and stuff, I won't really tell you what I'm doing. Everyone knows roads. Um, I chose Perth because that's where I'm currently living. It's what I know. Uh, kind of like my UK build, which is still in the works. Um, I don't know what happened with that. I just kind of temporarily lost interest and decided Australia was a more fun build to do. Um, you'll notice from the beginning cinematic and from the ending cinematics that this is actually a pre-established city. It's pretty built up already. I haven't started from scratch. So the point of this series is, I gotta add the sausage sizzle. If you're from Australia, you know, if you don't, Sorry. <laughs> so the point of this city is, um, it's really boring and bland. There's, it was an old, older city and I just want to make it look better. Um, I'm going to put more detail into it. I'll be revising areas knocking stuff down, rebuilding stuff. Uh, if you look at the skyline of Perth, the skyline of the downtown, which you'll see in an episode or two, does not look anything like what you would actually get here in Perth at all. So we'll be reworking that. Um, but today I decided to just kind of work on a generic Australian commercial complex. Um, these places tend to have the Big Bunnings Hardware Store, like what you see me placing. Um, Bunnings Hardware Stores love these big open car parks, usually. I haven't really seen any that don't have them. Um, they'll have stuff like Kmart, which unfortunately I couldn't find on the workshop. Uh, Targets, Woolworths and Coles, your grocery stores, stuff like that. Um, and that's the kind of stuff you'll see me placing down. Um, why Australia as a build to make instead of my many other lists that I have? Honestly, there's not much Australia content out there. Um, $2.20 is just starting an Australian build and he's had one previously. Um, Dirty Harry or Dirty H, sorry. He has a New Zealand build, which is similar to Australia, but a little bit different. Um, so I thought I'd throw my lot in, do my take on a slightly alternate Perth. Those two YouTubers I mentioned before, they're kind of doing their own cities, fictional cities, whereas I'm more based on something. So more to get wrong, I guess. Here I'm placing this really big target that I mentioned before. Um, here in Australia, generally, these big commercial complexes, when they have these stores, they tend to be really big warehouses. And you go in and they've turned these warehouses into shopping fronts and they'll put a nice floor down but and put some nice walls on with Target and whatever came out all over it. But generally, it's big warehouse space they've converted into a big shopping area that's why it tends to be huge um, the grocery store that I put down I wish I had a bigger version of it it feels like it doesn't quite fit the size of the complex but by the end I think it looks pretty good and hopefully you think so too um, there it is there but um I just wish it was a tiny bit bigger, but got to work with what you got. Super cheap auto. I don't know if they have that over east, but over here it's pretty much your go-to car supply. Um, another thing that I couldn't find on the workshop was a JB Hi-Fi. There's a lot of Australian assets out there, which is amazing. But for some reason, no one's made a JB Hi-Fi building 
but they've made JB Hi-Fi signs. And anyone from Australia knows JB Hi-Fi. It's pretty much the place you go to to buy music, movies. There's some of them sell computer parts, some of them sell fridges. They sell pretty much anything electronic that you would ever need. So I had to throw one of them into the, they tend to sit near these complexes sometimes or in shopping centers. Um, you tend to again you get these really big ones which is just warehouse converted space that they've turned into a, basically a music and DVD entertainment shop which is I think pretty cool I like that <sighs> I'm just trying to fill out these um, back lots a little bit some more detail in. I'm not the best at detailing, um, but I'm getting practice. And these trucks are actually from New Zealand, um, from a New Zealand store, but they're the best looking de Australian delivery trucks I have currently. I need to look for similar ones that don't have the brand name. It's a brand in New Zealand and my girlfriend's from New Zealand. And when I mentioned that I found it, she got pretty excited because apparently her and her family love the store. I can't remember what store it is. Um, if you recognize it, you probably know what it is. You probably love it. I think it's some kind of like grocery store. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm just filling out the back of the auto parts store. Some crates and stuff. Um, like the idea that we're, you know, middle of the day deliveries have come in but they haven't been put into the back storage rooms yet or they might even just store stuff out there if it's uh, now we're doing the back of JB Hi-Fi I do pretty much the same thing here just add some crates and some forklifts these stain deco uh, decals uh, pretty much everyone uses them I think so if you're watching me you've probably watched other YouTubers, you've seen them used before, but they really, they really just make a huge difference on concrete, really add a lot of texture where otherwise there might not be some. And this particular area is based around East Perth area, which is, it's residential, but there's also big commercial plots nearby, there's big industrial nearby, so I figured the concrete wouldn't be brand new, it would be quite dirty and stuff, uh, pile of unused appliances because JB Hi-Fi is an appliance store so it made sense. Now I'm just adding trucks and stuff to this kind of, uh, what are they called? Sorry, I'm drawing a mental blank. The delivery plants. Anyway, I realized I put the car park here, so right next to the delivery bay I'm gonna go with delivery bay I put a car park right next to the delivery bay so we've had to slightly edit the car park and then I add some no parking signs and some yellow lines and decals just to make sure no one parks in front of the trucks even now I'm re-watching this as I record the audio and I'm thinking the parking directly opposite realistically those trucks would probably take out whatever poor car has parked in those disabled spots so I'll probably go back to that off camera and rearrange that because that's not doesn't need to be too realistic but I want some realism you know okay why I fill in these decals and stuff I'll just leave it Turn the music back up a little bit and I hope you enjoy it and I will be back in a few minutes or so.
Okay, and I'm back. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm building this little food area. Um, in Australia, it's very common that in these complexes we will have a couple of different fast food joints just next to each other. Um, you'd think there'd be competition and they wouldn't do that, but surprisingly people tend to have their favorites, um, whether it's KFC or McDonald's or Hungry Jack's, which is the Australian version of Burger King, which unfortunately I don't have an asset for yet, which I'm hoping I can get one soon. Um, but anytime you drive past them, all of their drive throughs tend to be pretty full. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm just adding this pathway here to the residential area, which will grow in soon. Um, adding some fences just to stop the people walking across the drive through section, getting potentially injured, that kind of thing. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, come back again soon for more of my Perth Australia build. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel out a lot. And I hope you enjoy these end cinematics. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.